Well, this is such an exciting day for all your graduates. How many did you have graduate today? We had 14 total graduate. We had eight from South Bend. We had uh, four from four. From, <laughs> we had eight from South Bend. We had four from Michigan City and two from Laporte. Going through intense training for 21 weeks, and tell us just tell us more about this process for those who might be interested in becoming a firefighter. Uh, it, it is a process, and it's a long process. The first thing you have to do is apply for the job. Last time we did this, we had 704 applications turned in. Uh, then we have everyone take a written test, and once you take the written test, then you have to take a physical test if you pass the written test. If you pass the physical test, and you have to go through an oral exam, uh, where you're an oral. Uh, a panel that you meet with. Uh, after that, then you rank from one to however many. And then as we have openings, usually we'll hire anywhere from five to 10 to 15 at, a, at one time. We don't just hire one-on-one. -on -one. We hire normally as a group. Uh, then we bring you in again and we do background checks on you. We do polygraphs and uh, we send you down for your physical and psychological exam. Then you're ready. If you pass all of that, then you're ready to start the academy. How many students have you seen? How many graduations have you been to? Oh, this is probably, I've been doing this for 10, at least 10 years, so I've seen maybe 150 people graduate. How, how does that feel for you? It, it's, it's scary because, uh, number one, you know, you hope you got the, did the job right. You, you, they're prepared to go out and do their job. Uh, we've had a lot of good feedback, which makes me happy. We have great instructors. Our, our instructors, I think, are top-notch, uh, second to none. Uh, they really thrive on, on teaching these firefighters what life is going to be like when they start riding fire trucks and ambulances. One of the chief, chiefs spoke about how learning is a never-ending process. Since the show's on education, what do you want to Can you comment on that? Oh, definitely. Uh, being part of the Instruction Bureau, which is what I'm, I'm in, my job is to make sure that the firefighters train and learn every day, every month, every year. Uh, we have requirements that they have to fulfill yearly, monthly and yearly requirements of training. Uh, training is ongoing and it's never, never ending. Uh, fire service always changes. There's so many changes from 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And to keep up with those changes, you have to send your firefighters to school. You have to have them in and, and have in-services with them. It's just uh, almost uh, what we do is every day is a training day. Why do you think people get into this profession? Uh, what, the, what people would tell you is they get in this profession because they want to help people. That's a standard answer. I think there's a little more than helping people. You want to help your community, but there's a little adrenaline rush in it. Uh, to be a firefighter, you can't just be a laid back person. You have to be an energetic person, a go-getter. You have to want to do the job and, and you've got to um, be prepared for seeing some of the worst things you're going to see. Uh, but it, it's a, such a rewarding job. Uh, you know, when you put out a fire, that's a reward for you. When you help someone who's sick, that's a reward. I, I think more so than helping people, just the reward of knowing that you help somebody during the day during, or night that you work is, is why a lot of people get into it. And adding value to people, I love it. What else would you like to add? I, I just, you know, the, the 21 weeks, these, these recruits have gone through a lot of work. They start every morning at 7.30 doing physical training. And it's not an easy training. We have CrossFit instructors that teach them for an hour every morning, and it pushes them. And then they start school. And school will go all day long until 4.30. And th their school can, uh, it can be in, in the classroom, they can be out on the field. We have a state-of-the-art training facility here. And we have a six-story burn tower that they work in. We have a two-story residential house that they can work in. And we have buildings like this that they can do a lot of their training in. So uh, we, we try and give the recruits as much uh, knowledge and as much training as we can because we know and our instructors know what it's like to be on the other side. And that's what we want them to be prepared for. Oh, they have tests, uh, weekly tests, uh, sometimes daily tests. It's just like going to school. There's no difference. Uh, they go to school, they read their chapter in the book, they're uh, tested over that chapter of the book, and, and then they move on. And if somebody's struggling, we have a little talk with them and we deal with someone struggling. But I, I tell you, in all the classes we've had, we, we've only had maybe one or two people that uh, failed. 
that, that did not pass the class in all the years I've been doing this. Um, and that's a credit to our instructors. They, they teach not only by the book, but they teach to life ways. You, know. yeah, you can read one thing in the book, but when you know exactly how to do things, that's the best way is, is to teach it that way. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much for coming.